Hello, this is Linda Vectris Nichols, and do I have the most amazing woman to introduce you to, Namisha Kunath Chatterjee. Welcome, Namisha. Thank you, Linda. It was really exciting to meet you too, and loving it. Such a beautiful world where it's night over here and day at the other side. So I know, that. right? Chatting with people all over the world. It's so much fun. I love it. And we learn so much from each other as well. And then we find out that, hey, we're all the same. We're all human beings, right? So it's it's been fun that way too. And experiencing one another's differences and what's actually making each of us unique in what we remember, right? <laughs> as we like us. <laughs> Very good. So, Namisha, you have the most amazing story of transformation. I would love if you shared that with everyone. Okay. So, uh, it started with uh, generally I've been as a shy person. If you consider me from your childhood, my school days, or in the college days, I was more of an introvert where I would just try to talk to one on one. But then, yes, I did believe it's about a human connect. I was passionate about relationship and the human connections. Nice. Then I was somewhere interested towards the psychology or the human beings connection or the behavior. Yeah. And that's, isn't it that interesting that we all have a uniqueness? But then mm -hmm. I was trying to understand what is that which is stopping me? Probably more of our, you know, self limits our self-beliefs right. and then I just went on to my journey you know did my MBA my HR specialization and you know when you get into corporate you meet so many people sometimes uh, Linda you yourself knows that being sometimes as a role what we are playing though say as a HR or as a coach we meet so many people and we are bound to play the role which we are not right yeah and, and that's when i think i started you know a little bit developing myself uh trying to come out of that cocoon you know to just see what is the world outside and then i pursued my nlp practitioner and which also gave me an insight to the beautiful world about you know wow i mean you have so much within yourself you mm -hmm. are a unique individual and right. that's what i am into now into a self-love coach mm, i love it very cool <laughs> so the journey to love and peace is what we're going to be talking about right yeah okay so first thing be grateful so when you hear the words be grateful what what kind of bring what comes up for you okay so the first thing, you know, as a human being itself is a gratefulness, which the God or the universe or the nature, whatever term you put it as, you know, is the thing which we are blessed with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, as Linda, uh, you know, that we are set our own identity, you mm -hmm. know, what we have, it's a, it's a beautiful gift which I admire and I appreciate and I love to inspire others that, you know, let it be what you are. You know, yeah. nobody could have the same smile what Linda has now. <laughs> as the uh -huh. So that's how about you being you are and you accept the fact and you're grateful to that. Next is what I think about is, you know, being the new opportunities, the new moments which you get to experience. And that's again, I go back to the same thing about the as a human being or as an individual, which we are blessed with. I mean, there are so many people who doesn't have this opportunity, mm -hmm. but like us, we are sitting together. I mean, forget about the world, the time. Yeah doesn't matter that the relationship the mm -hmm. connection the yeah. minds the thoughts the beautiful rapport which we have created it, it's, it's just moment I so grateful you know the technology and the yeah. moment 
what we get to experience. And that's the same thing which I would say to everyone that, you know, just be grateful. You enjoy, just see the moment what you experience it mm -hmm. and you will have many more to come. Right. I love it. And so like going back to new every day, um, we are new every day and our past doesn't necessarily have to define us, right? It's our past and we can create a new future. So say a little bit more about that we are new every day. Yeah. Do you have some thoughts on that? Yeah. So uh, I would say that, you know, uh, September, just take it for an example, today, 2nd October. Do you ever know that the 1st October, how many times you laugh? Is it the same thing are you going to do today? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> right? How many times you drank water? Just a simple example. I mean, do you think it is the same time? The time you spend with your family, the expression, the conversations you had. Is it the same thing? No. So every new day with the sunrise, you get to experience a new moment. Mm. And that's when just hold on to the present moment. You get to experience it. And yeah. That, you know, and Linda, what you say? The be grateful part is to realize that that moment isn't going to repeat itself in the same way. You know, it might be similar like all the same people are there or whatever and yet everybody is new every day so they're not going to be in that same place we can really see that with kids you know because man like how a kid acted at their four-year-old birthday party isn't how they acted at their 10-year-old birthday party or whatever so I really like that mindfulness um, thinking that you're talking about how being grateful for being in the moment and appreciating that that moment is never going to repeat itself ever. Right? Yeah. That's big, um, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, Linda. Uh, okay. And anything else you want to say about all the moments? All the moments. So I would say that, see, when now when we're talking about, now we have talked about, we have spoken about our who we are and experiencing their new moments are from yesterday to today. But then I would also like to tell that not all the days are same or not all the moments are same, right? right. There are bound to be a negative. Mm -hmm. Thoughts coming in are the bad days. You don't know, um, you know, you just go on a traffic or your car breakdowns, <laughs> you know, so all your kid behaves cranky, your husband or your you know, your mom, your wife, it could be anything, but just yeah. let it be, you know, just right. accept the fact. So I'm trying to bring that, you know, the more resilience part, because that again comes from being mindfulness. So when you enjoy the present moment, what you are trying, accept the fact that yes, it's just a bad phase, it's just a bad time, you yeah. know, so just enjoy it because after that moment with a bad state, you will say that, you know, after the black clouds, there's going to be an open sky. Nice. I love it. Yeah. That's cool. And it's easy to be grateful in the, in the easy moments and the happy moments. Um, and like with the negatives, um, yeah. the number one thing is to not take it out on everybody else, right? Just be and see it for its lesson and know that the world's not out to get you. <laughs> and we do tend to carry an energy that draws in the negative so what you know taking a deeper look that's where coaching comes in right taking that deeper look at okay so why am i running that energy today right am i connected to my higher self you know did i take time to meditate or whatever your self-care thing is right where am i emotionally and where are where am i being triggered does that make sense yeah, absolutely, Linda. That's, that, that's where the whole point is, where you analyze yourself and then that's how you try to be more grateful, though whether it is a bad phase. Because as you said, in the good phase, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. But as to it, the challenges when it comes to the bad phase or the negative right? thoughts. Right. True. It, it's amazing how the moon pulls on us too. 
this this particular moon lately it was like whoa like people were feeling it way ahead of it and i know people are going to be feeling it for a few days after and i don't know if you noticed it in india but right so even just wow. being conscious of like where it is the moon what phase is the moon in right and for women moon time you know when it, having your period like where are you in your cycle right which week yeah. is it <laughs> and honor that and be with that because some weeks it's a uh -huh, game on lots of energy and other weeks it's like feels like winter curl up and <laughs> have some hot tea and and make sure the rest of the world goes away <laughs> or the you know oh i need some chocolate because i just wasted all my magnesium <laughs> which is interesting. we crave our chocolate when we're low on magnesium right true absolutely love that example it's, it's so appropriate linda thank you for sharing you're welcome <laughs> okay love yourself Ooh, what does love yourself mean to you namisha what how do you love yourself i would say the first thing when i said you know from the transformation stage right when i was trying to come up from my stage of being shy um to analyzing myself on right. what i am you know asking the question to self the first thing what you try to see is what are your strengths what are mm -hmm. your strengths right yeah what are the positive things what are the people like about you and mm -hmm. then when i did that exercise i got to know that i've got a it's not a pose but i would say that you know i've got a lovely smile and that's the first thing people said i said wow let me show I'm a gift, you know, if I smile, I could just keep the person, you know, mm -hmm. get on the connection, the rapport. Well, that's then funny, because you like my smile, so now you get to see the gift of smile, right? Like, this is yeah. what other people experience when they experience you. Isn't that fun? <laughs> True, absolutely. And I was like, yeah, this is my gift. Mm -hmm. and, I, and what do we do when we get, get a gift? Right. We preserve it. We, you know, we take care of that more because we try to enrich that gift. All of us, you know, in our life, we would have got any gifts, whether it's a birthday gift or some gifts, but we try to keep it, you know, we preserve it. Yeah, we, we cherish it. it because it's from somebody who loves us, right? So it's a what? reminder that we are lovable, right? Absolutely. And next thing, when I say about gift, what do you do? You show it to your loved ones. Hey, this Ooh. is what a gift I got. So yeah. why not your own self? Because we are a unique, you know, we, this is a gift what we are. So why don't we share the same happiness, the gift what you are with the others around us? And what happens? Happiness multiplies. Yeah, you know? right. So you get into a, a heart to heart connections. And then that's where you know, you are into the journey of loving yourself and also transforming others. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, we don't hear ourselves as the other people hear us, you know, unless we're being recorded. And we don't see ourselves unless we're being recorded on camera, then we can. And initially, we don't like what we see. We don't feel comfortable with it. We think we're just looking a little odd and, and sounding a little odd right and the more we do it the the more like used to it we are we just don't have um a complete understanding about how it impacts others even if we're uncomfortable with say being on camera or just having our voice recorded right uh yeah people people are either gonna like you or they're not right and that's all on them it has nothing to do with you so right we're all, we're all in different tribes too <laughs> right so find your tribe <laughs> absolutely that's one of the best thing you mentioned about the tribe you know that the, though we are unique i mean we would definitely find some of the similarities or some of the thought process some of the mindsets so as you said you know just love get onto the same tribe and that's where you know your energy gets multiplied yeah. and then would actually start loving the journey 
or mm-hmm. whatever you are, you know, because yeah. and that is a time because as I'm now into the tribe of like-minded people where we are spreading each other's, you know, happiness moments, but even in the bad phase or the negativity, you would not mind it because you go back to the stage where you say that you are a gift. Mm-hmm. What is a precious thing? You are a gift, and this gift is okay. We don't see that. Oh, the gift is of a less value. Do you think so, Linda? Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody would say, "Oh no, this what is this? this? I don't want this gift. I already have it." No, they do have it because you've got it from your loved ones. So. Exactly. What I appreciate back to tribe. What I appreciate is um, unity without uniformity. Does that make sense? Right? So again, back to the uniqueness, like we're all different and yet we're all human. We're all different. Uh, And so what I'm talking about is, is tribes that overlap, you know, kind of like the Venn diagram. Here's your tribe. Here's somebody else's tribe. And then you cross over and right in the center, that's the sweet spot of meeting and connecting with other people. And you can even monetize that. It's like incredible. And you build the know, like, and trust in your tribe. And then when you cross over a tribe, you build know, like, and trust there as well. And it really opens up your, your gene pool, your customer base even, right? As an entrepreneur. It, it, it adds to yourself, you know, you become a better version of yourself because yes. now you got connected. You are adding something new to yourself. Right, so. right. And when tribes come together, they don't come together in judgment of one another. They come together in what it is that they um, share, like what they do have in common, right? And depression is about what separates us. Connection is about what you know brings us together and yet keeping our own unique spin on things right? yeah absolutely cool Beautiful. all right <laughs> so love yourself and love the journey and you know we we come into this world and like you can't say babies don't love themselves are you kidding me <laughs> it's all about them <laughs> right they come from love they're all about love look at them you can't help love them even when they're screaming and kicking and crying right so and then and then as it depends on how baby's being raised child's being raised um we can really put our kids to sleep <laughs> and i see that kids are um staying a lot more connected to who they really are uh, you know because of the way we're actually raising them and i'm sure it's it's completely different in India. I'm more referring to the U.S. It's been, it's really been special um, watching moms look at their own woundings and not taking their own woundings out on their children and understanding that the reason they're feeling this way about their child has nothing to do with their child and everything to do with them, blah, blah, blah. And that's how we keep kids from falling asleep and then, you know, diving into um, you know, dark night of the soul, if you will, and <laughs> having to like reawaken. So, and people will talk about the millennials and like, oh, like they're just, they're just a lot of work and they're selfish and, you know, they, it's like, yeah, and they speak up for themselves too. Does that make that person selfish? You know, and, and in the old energy of the world, it was like, you know, children should be um, seen and not heard, right? Uh, talk about putting a kid to sleep. <laughs> right? Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say before we move on from the idea of love yourself? I think I, we have covered, but then one thing which I, since you spoke about kids, you know, so I would just like to add, it is like about the same, uh, you know, how a kid is there in the mother's womb. And nine months and after that, you come out of it and then you see, you know, the kid becomes, you know, kid comes out to the world and then how the journey begins. Yeah. So it's a journey which we have already started. So when we talk about loving the journey, it is not that you are supposed to start tomorrow or there is some day, but it is already there, you know, within us. So nice. we start at the same time. Just accept the fact that what you are 
and just start loving yourself. I love it. It's a great message. <laughs> okay. And on that note, <laughs> realize that you are enough. You don't need another degree. You don't need to go to another class. You don't need this. You don't need that. You are enough. And I love teaching like about pleasure. Stina Marie talks about pleasure. She taught me that one. And staying in pleasure is huge. And I know like in the Christian world, that word can be a super negative, like, oh, carnal pleasure. <laughs> it's like, no, it's about realizing who you are, loving who you are, and knowing what gives you pleasure, what really turns your crank, not what gets you in trouble, right? Not what takes away your energy, not what holds you back. It's what keeps you going and what kind of breaks do you need? I know for me, it's like, if things are getting like, you know, it's like, go for a walk. Um, I just keep a pleasure list. Like, what are the things, you know, that um, I kind of have going on? And then I can just choose what I want to do. It might be work on, you know, something on my business. It might be doing something with family, whatever, um, or friends. It's just there on my pleasure list. It's what I'm mindful of, um, like, just lately, right? And then I can just pick and choose. And I, I, I never just, like, am sitting around going, I'm bored and I don't even know what to do next, right? And without it, it was like having goals and objectives and, um, you know, <laughs> like my own slave labor, <laughs> right? And then the shame of like not meeting a goal. And with my pleasure list, it's also based on, on my vision, like where am I headed and what are the steps along the way and what step am I on right now? And what would I like to do within, you know, that step that's just going to get me down the road a little bit further in the moment or today? Does that make sense? Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, you know, we are, I mean, you know, to add on to that, I would say that, you know, within yourself, you know, you have got everything, all the talents and all the skills. But yes, I do understand that, you know, it's mostly about our beliefs. So our, you know, you know, for me, you know, my power, it starts with a belief in myself. That mm -hmm. yes, sure, you're great, you do it. So also, you know, it also depends on our relationships. So how we, uh, you know, tend to connect with each other. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about before that, you know, when we, as you mentioned about that tribe, right, how we are connecting. But yes, before that, we need to understand, yes, you are, you are unique, you accept yourself, and you have everything. But then the question goes, how do we identify what I am? Right? So going back to the same first step of what I am, who I am. So I would say, you know, the journey, what I started, you know, I uh, written myself with the five points that is, which I describe it as vitals. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that is a process of identifying yourself of who you are. Then you get onto the stage that you are everything. So mm -hmm. vital, when I expanded that acronym, you know, V stands for your values. So right. list them, as you mentioned in your, uh, your pleasure list and you know, the other list. So similarly, the basic exercise you can start with is identifying what are your values. Just write down five things, you know, what are the important values? Right. I, which stands for your interest. So what are the things which gets your attention, yeah. which you, you know, which is your mind curious about it? Yeah. You know, and the third one is your temperament. That is, are you a person who likes to plan or are you kind of a person who gets onto spontaneous? Yes, let's go. Or yes. you're the first, you know, who takes yeah. on organize or decision making, you know, you plan it out. The next one is in A, you know, that is around the clock activities. So what are the things which keeps you occupied? around the clock, you have the time. So are you kind of a morning person? Are you kind of a night person like me? Yes, like you. <laughs> I know that one. 
okay, that's why we're talking. It's this. like what midnight there right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at you. Why do I? So, um, L stands for your life missions. What okay. is the purpose? You know, we know about we are uh, ikigai. So, what is our purpose in our life? What do we want to? What are your meaningful activities or the events which you like to be part of it? Mm -hmm. S, vital S, plural. So it is your strength. You know. Mm -hmm. So what are your skills? What are your characteristics? You know. So once you identify these things, you will understand what you are, and then you will get a question that you are everything. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that's brilliant! I love that. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's quite marketable. I think that is awesome. That's so cool. Thank you for sharing that. And back to like um, values. My values are fun, freedom, love, and. At one point in my life, it was like, oh, I'm going to make more money. So I think um, I'll just put freedom first, you know, because there's freedom in money. And pff, that sure didn't work. If things aren't fun, they don't even get done in my world. <laughs> <laughs> and focusing on money, it has never profited anybody, you know. <laughs> so that lasted about two seconds. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. I definitely <laughs> learned. <laughs> Interesting. Very cool. Yeah, I, I'm all about relationships and, and being a giver and supporting others anyways. So oh, money just wow. Are you a morning person, Linda, or the evening person? I mean, <laughs> What's that? Are you the morning person or the evening, late night? That's an interesting question because I'm both. Um, so like 4.30 and 4, 4.30 in the morning, I'm really in tune with that sort of that spiritual time, right? And then um, if I don't get to bed early enough, um, all of a sudden I just start waking up about 10 o'clock at night and I could be up for a long time. And, and I actually did tune into that rhythm, um, you know, especially when I had kids like you, you know, you've got this three-year-old to get to bed and then... <laughs> your like awake time is in the evening where you're not going to be interrupted by a child. And so I did take advantage of, you know, being really awake in the evening. Um, and waking up before the kids was super important to me as well. So yeah, I kind of did both when I had the energy when, when I wasn't so old. <laughs> Nobody believes I'm 64 years old, but okay. <laughs> I just tell them I have a good camera. <laughs> you are the energy giver, you know. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So live every moment. Boy, is that a good summary of everything we've been talking about. So Go ahead and tell us more about that. And how yeah. You so when I talk about, you know, again, going back to living every moment, I think we have almost covered in the, you know, the previous stages that it's very important to understand on, uh, you know, that each and every moment. So uh, when we talk about, I think uh, yesterday, recently, we have just watched a video of Dr. Joe Dispenza. And when we talk about, you know, the habits, you know, so how our habits actually influence us on how we think about ourselves, you know. Right. So uh, taking that same example, now when we do the same thing, uh, repeatedly the day, yeah. we mm -hmm. tend to see the same thing. Yeah, but and our brains get really old fast too. <laughs> they say like drive home a different way from work, do something different, right? It's so important yeah. just for the keeping our brain cells alive. True. So now how do we enjoy or tend to understand living every moment? One of the best is meditate. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as you mentioned that when you close your eyes, we say that, you know, 70 to 80 persons, you don't see it. That means the visuals gets subtracted, you know, it gets, yeah. goes off. So it also takes us out of emotion, which is super cool. Uh -huh. It's not going to trigger. Yeah, that's, that's a very good addition you made, Linda. Thank you. So that's how you tend to, uh, you know, and that is a time when you are just trying to be with, you, with yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you are trying to be with yourself, it is just you, your body, your soul. Nice. Yeah. And with every breath, you know, the breathing you do, you 
understand that every breath, every second, every breath matters. Yeah, breath, every breath, right? Yes. Yes. And that's the time you understand, yes, you know, even a single moment, can you just live without even a single breath? No. (laughs) So that is the beauty of, you know, how we are, we have to understand ourselves that every moment what we are gifted with or we are blessed with or we understand you know be grateful to what we are and just go with the flow Mm -hmm. so beautiful i love it thank you so much my pleasure linda i mean i loved your additions and examples Oh, <laughs> well, I, like I said, the vital thing like blew me away. That is so cool. And I've been around the block. <laughs> so you got something there that is so phenomenal. It's great. Anything else you'd like to add, Nisha? I would say uh, now when you understand about that, you are everything, you enjoy every moment. And that's the time you and realize that you have so many things within yourself that you need to give to the world you get to right <laughs> yeah when you, you give that's when you get it you know yeah. you, you yourself realize that the more you give is where you get it you so, do yeah yeah so, and what goes around comes around right <laughs> and be a giver see our linda she's so energetic at this age <laughs> yeah at this age <laughs> It is a beautiful, lovely woman. And if you have a chance, do get one-on-one with Linda. I'm telling you, the conversation would never, ever end. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) She's long-winded, that's for sure. (laughs) We have had some good chats. Thank you so much. All right. You have a great, like for you, night. I'll have a great afternoon. How's that? (laughs) I have a great afternoon from at midnight. Wow. All right. All right. Thanks, Nimisha. Bye-bye. Bye.